hey guys welcome back to the channel and day 13 of the home workout challenge we've got no kind of formal introduction today we're just going to get straight into it today is an abs workout going to be sculpting strengthening those muscles the core muscles um, just grab a mat a towel or find some space on the floor and we will get ready with a stretch so coming on all fours just going to do some cat cow poses so rounding the spine feeling the stretch chin to chest and then reversing to the cow pose chin up to the ceiling arching the back and we'll repeat that a few times Feel free to move the head as you feel, stretching the neck. Then bring the bottom back towards the heels. Reach the fingertips out in front of you and take a few deep breaths. And then pushing the hips forward Reach the chin up to the ceiling, feeling the stretch through the front of the body. Nice long neck. And reverse again. Then we're going to come side to side, feeling that stretch in the glutes. And sitting back, taking another deep breath. All right, we're ready to begin. I'll show you the first move, which are some shotguns. So hands together like a shotgun. We're going to be shooting side to side. Beginners, you want to keep your feet on the mat. So just bending, alternate knees, uh, intermediate, intermediate and advanced. We're going to lift the legs up off the floor. And go. So really taking aim, chest up, nice long neck, leaning back, legs off the floor as you point from side to side, getting a nice twist. Beginners, we're still getting a great workout, so you still want to be leaning back a little bit. You're just letting the weight of your legs rest on the floor as you switch the knees through the air. Taking aim and rest. Well done. Next move we're going to do will be some sit up sores. So, legs apart to a comfortable position. We're going to sit up, twist to the side, and use the little finger to kind of saw off the outer toe. Okay, imagine your hand is a saw. Ready and go. Twisting to the side, reaching forward, sawing off the little toe, rolling back. And sitting up, twisting to the other side, sawing off that little toe, getting a really nice stretch here, controlling the movement back down. So as you come down, I don't want you to just fall over, I want you to actually lower the body down, vertebrae by vertebrae. So we're really controlling this movement, twisting as we're sitting up nice and tall, then we reach over and saw off that little toe, rolling down nice and slow. And rest well done next move some ballet bicycles so this move is a little bit swish advanced what you're gonna do is actually just keep your um, hands up so hands behind the head uh, intermediate and beginners we're just gonna support the weight of the body and go support the weight of the body through the hands so as though you're riding a bit of a posh bike with your toes pointed nice and elegant chest up, long neck, try not to hunch the shoulders, we're just moving those legs through the air, feeling elegant, nice long legs, advance, try and keep your elbows wide open, I know it's tough, but stay up as you do those ballet bicycles without the support of your hands, keep going, just a few more, and rest, well done. Next move, sit up and punch. So literally just sitting up, punching one, two, three, coming back down, nice and controlled, and we'll all do this move together.
and go. Sitting up nice and tall. With the punches, you actually want to be twisting. One, two, three. Taking a jab before you lower back down. Again, being controlled with the lowering of the upper body. We're not just falling back onto the mat. We're controlling the movement as we kind of unfold the spine. Keeping the feet on the floor. Twisting, giving nice strong punches side to side. Switching which side you punch towards each time. And rest. Well done. Next move, some Russian twists. Love these, just such a staple move, man. Um, for beginners, you want to let your legs rest on the floor, but still leaning back. Advanced, I want those legs straight, straight up in the air. All of us will be twisting from side to side and go. So legs up, twisting from side to side. I want you to keep your hands together and aim to get your hands to touch the floor either side of you as you twist. So shoulders nice and low, chest up, neck long, leaning back, twisting as we go, trying to keep those legs up off the air, up off the air, up in the air, off the ground and just keep it moving, you're doing really well. Nearly there, just a few more. Make sure you're leaning back. And rest, well done, doing so well. Side dips, love this move, it's a great little stretch, but also a little, a little challenging. And so we're just dipping to the one side, feeling the stretch and bringing the body back up. We'll all do this move together and go hands above the head i want your arms coming just in front of the ears so like over the ears i don't want them falling in front of your face so arms back and up hands together dipping to the side using the obliques to just lift the body back up if you want to make this a little bit more difficult advanced i don't want you to come back all the way up so only lift up um to about like i don't even know what angle it is but not back up to center um, and that will just make it a little bit more difficult and rest well done then we're gonna do the same thing but on the other side I had some good tunes on. I can't remember what tunes, but they were good. Thus, the dancing, if we can even call it that. Ready and go. Hands together, arms nice and long. Arms pushed back. And leaning over to the side, making sure that you're not falling forward or falling back. I want you to be going straight over the side, feeling that stretch. Feeling the weight of your upper body as you lift it back up, nice and controlled. Elegant, long arms. You're doing really well, keep going. And rest, well done. Next move, single leg V-sits. Advanced, we're gonna work with some double leg V-sits. I want you to do these controls. If you can't do double leg V-sits with control, don't do them. Six of the single leg V-sits. I don't want anyone falling all over the place, okay? Ready and go. So I guess we're trying to make a V in the air. It's a bit of a dodgy V, a bit of a dodgy V. Um, but we're just br coming up, bringing the upper body up and um, the leg up with the other leg bent, uh, weight on the floor. Beginners, you can bend the leg a little to make it a bit more doable. But intermediate, I want you to try and keep that leg nice and straight, toe pointed. Touching the toes as we come up. And rest. Well done. Then we're going to do the same move, but on the other side. Advanced, carrying on with the double leg V-sits. So for the double leg V-sits, you're actually meeting in the middle and you want to lower your body back down, no falling about the place, you want to control this movement and go. So bringing the arms up towards the toes. You really want to be trying like sitting as a V shape. I know that's quite hard to picture, but just trying to bring the upper body as high as you can and that leg as high as you can. 
doing really well. Keep going, breathing through it. Just a few more, you're doing so well. And rest, well done, smashing it. Then we're coming back to the shotguns. Take an aim, shots fired. Someone call Rihanna, there's a man down. Ram Papa Pom. Wow, go back to that song. Anyway, ready? And go. So beginners, we're still getting that leg movement, but you're just keeping the feet on the floor. Intermediate and advanced. I want those legs up. Get your legs up off the floor. We're twisting from side to side. So there's people coming at you on each side. It's like a video game, but you're just like bang, bang, shotgun like a friendly shotgun that doesn't actually hurt them, it just sends blessings their way because this is a PG channel. And carry on, keep going, switching through the air. You're doing so well, chest up, neck long, we're not hunching the shoulders. And rest, well done. Next move, some sit-up sores. I love this move, I just love any move that incorporates a stretch, I just, ugh. Stretching is, is my fave pastime. So legs apart, in a comfortable position and go twisting, soaring, rolling back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, back up, twist to the other side, reach, soar, try and get a little further each time, roll back down, controlling the movement, back up, twist to the side, soar off that little toe, try and reach a little bit further, making sure that the legs stay firm on the ground reaching as far as you can, getting a really good stretch, doing so well. And rest, awesome. Then it's some sit up and punch is. Ready and go. So sit up, one, two, three, and back down. Up, one, two, three, and back down. Controlling the movement back down, lowering the upper body vertebrae by vertebrae. You wanna twist with these punches side to side, switching which side you punch towards first so that you're getting an even, an even workout on both sides. really well and rest I'm gonna do some Russian twists legs in the air beginners you can rest your feet and just lean back advanced I want those legs up and I want those toes pointed and legs straight ready and go hands together side to side twisting neck long we don't want shoulders for earrings Twisting from side to side, keep going. Keep breathing through it. This move is a challenge, but that's good. That's, that's what you signed up for, the home workout challenge. And you can accomplish so much. Whatever you put your mind to, you can, you can so do. Sounds cheesy, but yeah, you got this. Keep going. Well done, 20 seconds rest before we come back to some side dips. So on one knee, other leg stretched out. Hands together above the head. Arms pushed back and go. Dipping to the side, coming back to the middle. Keep going, you're doing really well. Make sure that those arms don't creep forward, push them back, shoulders low and relaxed. You're doing so well, nearly there. And rest. Then we're coming down on the other side after the rest.
and go. So feeling that stretch, lifting the upper body. Inhale to lower, exhale to come back up. If you want to make the move a little bit more difficult, try not to come all the way back up. So you're moving through a smaller range of movement, smaller range of motion rather, but getting a really good workout. Well done, next move are some single leg V sets. Advanced doing the double leg for the win. And go. Keeping a nice straight leg, bringing the leg all the way up. Aiming for that toe touch. As we come back down, we're controlling the movement, we're lowering the upper body and lowering the leg down. We're not just collapsing in a heap. You're doing so well. Keep going, reaching nice and tall, reaching for the ceiling, trying to get that perfect V shape. And rest. 20 seconds, and then we'll do the other side. And go. Coming all the way up. You want to make a V between your leg and your upper body. Really reaching. I know it's tough, but you're tougher. You can do this. Keep going. Well done. Advance to keeping your balance with the double leg V set. And rest, well done. Then we're gonna do some ballet bicycles. Advanced doing the same thing, but instead of using the hands for support, the hands are just resting, chilling behind the head, elbows nice and open. And go. The most elegant cycle you've ever been on. Toes pointed chest up, nice long neck, cycling bringing that knee all the way up to the chest as we cycle through, doing so well, keep going, the arms are just there to support, you don't want to sink into your arms, they're just there to support. And rest, well done. Nearly there, nearly there. We've got one more move to finish off this workout. So we're gonna come onto our front and we're gonna finish off with a plank. We're gonna push it, okay? Ready and go. So elbows below shoulders. Beginners, you can stay on your knees. We're just going to hold this plank and we're going to go for two minutes, okay, 120 seconds. I don't know how long you usually plank for, but we're going to push through and we're going to try and make it to two minutes, okay? So breathing through it, I don't want your bottom up in the air. Keeping good posture. You're doing so well. Well done, I know it feels a little trembly, you might be feeling like you're starting to shake. Just try and hold the position. Beginners, if you need to pop down and then come back up, that is totally okay, that's fine. Just try and stay with me. You're doing really well. Advanced, if you want to make this a little tougher, you can just lift one limb one at a time. So lifting 
a leg, the other leg, an arm and the other arm. Nearly there, keep going. Don't worry, I am timing it. <laughs> doing so so well keep going if you pop down try and pop back up you're strong and you're capable keep holding keep holding even when the screen goes blank keep holding we're gonna make it to two minutes and release well done my camera cow I'm so sorry I definitely did the two minute plank with you please believe me on that um yeah literally that's why I kept looking at the camera because it was about to cut out I'm so sorry but I love you guys well done for doing that with me I will see you back here tomorrow same time same place for day 14 bye